Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Monday, November 18th, 2019. And uh, it is about 42 degrees today, overcast as you can see. We are still bringing in power, but uh, it's uh, not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. I mean, it's very mild. Uh, I was working today getting more. I'm going to show you that first before we get into topic. So I filled up both of these bins. Uh, I'm going to actually add more probably onto that one there and then you know I'll stop down this one and add more on there as well. So I think I'm going to get like one more wheelbarrow each in each one but that's all I felt like doing today so I did so now I got a good amount of kindling to get me going for a while. Um, cats are looking to go in. Okay so what we're going to do, I'm going to jump into topic here now so that's enough of the delays right. So let me just let Buddy in go you guys stay in I just brought them in they were out for a while now, Lucy you want to go oh my goodness here go and now I'm going to show you what you saw the hesitation that they didn't go in together they don't like each other <laughs> so okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with 10 skills our grandparents knew that are mostly forgotten today okay and I'm going to go a little bit more, um, you know, the modern generation, like technically at my age, I would be a grandparent uh, if I had my kids young. So we're going to go with great grandparents, okay? So that's what we're going to go with because my, well, my grandparents knew stuff where um, a lot of people in the modern generations, because people are banging out kids so early, um, you know, so no. <laughs> so what we're going to talk about, we're going to go with great grandparents, okay? So we're going to talk about 10 skills that our, our great-grandparents had that uh, the modern people, it's, it's lost. It's a, a lot of it is a lost art. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of these things on the list, you're probably going to say, well, I still do that, or I still do that, which is fine. But uh, the fact that probably you don't do all 10 definitely is, you know, something to think about. And so here we go. So first one is gardening for food, okay? So if you look at... Uh, Back in uh, you know the Great Depression, uh, especially like World War One, World War Two, when uh, you know there was short supply of things, uh, everybody had a garden. So everybody grew uh, a lot of their own vegetables and stuff like that because that's how they made it and survived. Uh, now think about now how many people do gardens now? Uh, not many, not many. I mean, so people still do gardening. Obviously, I still garden myself. But a lot of people do not do gardening anymore. So that was number one. Number two is animal husbandry. Now, I'm not talking about your cats or your dogs, okay? We're talking about uh, chickens and rabbits and, uh, you know, your, your geese and uh, your ducks and, uh, any, you know, goats and stuff like that, horses, those type of things. Uh, a lot of people were able to diagnose what was wrong with their animals. They knew what was wrong with their animals. They didn't call the vet. They took care of it themselves. Uh, that is a lost art now. Uh, now, is there still people that do that? Of course there is, okay? But it's it's more of a lost art now than, uh, you know, what it was back then, all right? So the next one, uh, number three, is going to be food preservation, all right? So th I want you guys to think about this. How many people do you know... And, and a lot of you are preppers, so you may know some, but I mean, of the average person that's out there with canning. We're just going to go with canning to start with, and we're going to go into the other ones. So not a lot of people can anymore, okay? So that is definitely um, a lost art. I mean, a lot of times, grandma dies or great-grandma dies, and they get rid of everything that she ever had. Uh, that's what the modern generation does, okay, because they don't do it. So then we're going to talk about... Uh, you know, also smoking your own meats. Uh, how many people do you know that smoke their own meats, even preppers, okay? And then the other one would be making your own sausage. You don't see people doing that anymore either, okay? It's just easier and convenient to go to the store and get it. So those are lost skills that our grandparents had uh, that we do not have in the modern, uh, modern time. All right, so the next one... And I thought this one was really interesting because not very many people do this at all anymore. Blacksmithing, okay? Uh, so 
Blacksmithing is absolutely a lost art. There's very few blacksmiths out there anymore, and blacksmiths can fix and do anything. I mean, they can, you know, do they they very very handy. Good to know. Uh, it's a great skill to have. And so, you know, there's that's again that's few and far between that are blacksmiths anymore. Uh, number five, basic carpentry. Of course, now my phone is ringing. I got to check. Hold on. Hi, Heath. Hi. I'm making a video, so let me call you back in a couple minutes. So I'll say here, here is, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay. All right, I'll call you back as soon as this is done, hon. Okay, it'll be it'll be quick. Bye. All right, love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. All right. So anyway, guys, sorry about that. I was, I'm expecting my greenhouse today, so I'm waiting, and I had to check the call, and then it was Heather, so I just told her I would call her back, as you as you heard. Okay. So let's go on to the next one. Uh, number five, basic carpentry. Uh, I, that was a skill that I did not really have uh, until I came out here, and I've learned more since I've come out here. But uh, that is a very lost skill that a lot of people do not have anymore. They don't know basic carpentry. So that's an important one that I think that people need um, to learn how to do and know what they're doing. Okay. And uh, so number six would be basic automatic repair. Uh, auto. Uh, Basic mechanical repair. I'm sorry, I absolutely brain farted that one. So, anyway, so, but knowing how to fix things in your car. So, here's, I'll even take it one further, guys. How many people today, and I'm talking the younger generation, like our kids, okay, and those type of things, how many of them know how to change a tire? Uh, the modern cars that you buy now, a lot of them don't even have a spare tire anymore, which is just, in my opinion, absolutely crazy that they don't even have a spare tire, okay? But basic mechanical repair, uh, I think, you know, people that, you know, knew how to fix things back in the day, everything with everything being electronic now, um, and it has to be diagnosed and, and stuff like that, it's made it a lot more difficult, okay? So the next one, number seven, herbal medicine. Uh, again, uh, when I've talked about this one a lot, guys, knowing your medicines, knowing what you need to uh to, to do and stuff like that, knowing your medicinal plants and those type of things that I think is hugely, hugely important. And not very many people have that skill where our ancestors did have those skills and they knew what worked and what didn't. Okay. Uh, number eight. Now this one is, I thought it was quite interesting because this one I have no clue, never done it. Um, never even thought about doing it. Horseback riding. Uh, horseback riding is now basically down to a sport for a lot of people now. They use it as a, a sport. You don't see a lot of people riding horses anymore. I actually, I saw in the five years I've been up here, uh, I saw one person riding a horse one day, and it was absolutely fascinating because the horse was enormous. And I know, I, would I ride a horse? Sure, I would. I think it would be a lot of fun. But uh, that's a skill that is absolutely lost. And if we have an EMP type of event or something like that, guess what? That's a skill people are going to learn how to do again. So um, that was that was number eight. Number nine is hunting. Okay, um, think about that. There's not that many hunters out there anymore like there used to be. So opening day was just uh, was Saturday morning, right? So they were saying that there's 14 million hunters out there. Uh, hunting, you know, that day, which would be the largest standing army in the world, uh, considering. So if you think about it in that aspect, it's a lot of people out there hunting. But back in the day, everybody hunted. It's how they supplemented their food so that they could get food on the table. So that's something to think about. You know, a lot of people don't do it anymore. Uh, I did it as a kid. I haven't done it in years. And uh, I figure if I had to do it to survive, I would do it. But I don't need to do that at this point. So I haven't done it. And uh, But, again, it is a skill that you learn. There's things that you learn with hunting, what to do, what not to do. And ice sheet coming off the house. But, uh, you know, those are things that are important to learn, okay? Uh, number 10, okay, uh, butchering an animal. So there's something that I don't think a lot of people think about is knowing how to butcher an animal. Like with one of these chickens, if, uh, you know, one of my roosters needed to go, how would I do it? How would I dispatch it? You know what I mean? And, uh, and those type of things. And, and with a lot of times, like with chickens, what you want to do is you don't want that adrenaline rush for the animal ahead of time. So what you do is you, you pick the animal up and you keep them calm. Um, you pet them a little bit and you get them so that they're relaxed and then you wring their neck. And it sounds horrible, but that's how it's done. And, or you cut their head off. But, you know, there's different ways that it's done. 
but you know those are the ways that it can happen okay but uh, you don't want to get that adrenaline rush in the animal because it, go, it, 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 it taints the meat. The meat taste doesn't taste the same. So you want to keep that animal as calm as you possibly can. So those are just some things to think about. I mean, people don't know how to butcher animals anymore um, at all. So uh, it was just ice was coming off the very top. So anyway, um, that's, you know, the 10 things that are great. I'm going to say great-grandparents because a lot of people, like I said, the grandparents don't even know how to do it anymore. But... Um, the great our great grandparents had these skills, and uh, I mean my grandparents had those skills. My grandparents grew up in the depression, so you know they uh, they had those skills and stuff like that. Now my grandfather wasn't a blacksmith or anything like that, but he was a plumber. He was a carpenter. Uh, you know, I mean he did carpentry for a living. You know, so they always gardened. They had an acre garden, so you know they had a lot of those skills. Canning, they always did that. You know, all those type of things, and. Uh, but again, those are a lot of lost skills now. People don't have them. They have no desire to learn. And that's kind of sad, to be honest with you. It really is sad. But uh, it happens. I definitely want to hear your feedback on this. Um, if you can think of something else that we should add to this list, uh, please feel free to uh, put it in the comments below. Um, if you are not subscribed to the channel, guys, please do so. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you get all the notifications and updates. Uh, I live stream three days a week, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So I live stream every week, three days a week. So uh, if you're not getting notifications, I've had people telling me they not, have not been getting certain notifications. Um, I am like clockwork. I, I will be on 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So unless I'm sick, which, you know, I haven't been sick in quite a while now, so... But anyway, so that's what's going on here. Um, so I'm going to jump off of here and get this video up for you guys. Remember, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And uh, remember also, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to work on, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you. Oh, and I was going to show you. Yes, I do have pants on today. I did put pants on. <laughs> I was in my loungies all day yesterday. So, But anyway, so I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I will talk to you all later. If the greenhouse gets here today, which they're saying that it was going to be delivered today, uh, I will do another video on that, and I will show you the greenhouse. Okay? I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody's having a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.